Top 5 Abuse Tactics Used by the Female Narcissist Hello everyone, and thank you for visiting our YouTube channel. The primary objective of this channel is to create awareness and provide recovery guidance on topics such as narcissistic abuse, parental alienation, and complex post-traumatic stress disorder, along with related subjects. Our discussion today will focus on the female narcissist, specifically her top 5 manipulation tactics that she employs to abuse and exercise control over other people. This is a subject that, I believe, does not garner as much attention as it should, particularly when a man is the recipient of narcissistic abuse from a woman. There is still a significant stigma or unmerited shame, regardless of its lack of justification that burdens many men who have been victims of a female narcissist. It's imperative that we initiate more conversations on this topic, as numerous men are silently suffering or, even worse, are oblivious to the fact that a woman could potentially be a domestic abuser against a man. The clientele I work with is evenly split between men and women, and the detrimental effects of enduring narcissistic abuse over an extended period are profoundly damaging irrespective of the gender of the abuser or the victim. The harsh truth is that emotional, psychological, and verbal abuse wreak havoc on anyone subjected to them. Narcissists typically avoid physical abuse as they are aware they cannot perpetuate such actions without facing consequences. However, this fact does not diminish the severity of narcissistic abuse as a form of domestic and intimate partner violence. It's about time that societies universally recognize and label all forms of domestic abuse as abuse. This includes identifying individuals who verbally, emotionally, or psychologically abuse another person or child for what they truly are, they are abusers. Today, our aim is to highlight the fact that narcissistic women can inflict equal harm on a man as a male narcissist can on a woman. Once again, abuse is abuse, regardless of the gender of the abuser or the victim. If you are new to our channel, I would like to extend a warm welcome and request you to subscribe and hit the notification bell, as I release new videos every day. Today, we are going to shed light on the typical abuse tactics that female narcissists employ against their targets, whether they be men, women, or children. As I mentioned earlier, narcissistic abuse can be perpetrated by both men and women, and the abuse they inflict upon a victim is damaging and harmful, regardless of the gender of the abuser or the victim. I believe it's high time that we expose the reality that females are also guilty of abusing other people, family members, and romantic partners. So today, our focus will be on the female narcissistic abuser, and we aim to illuminate her most preferred abuse tactics and what signs to look for if you suspect you are in a relationship with a female narcissist. Firstly, the female narcissistic abuser is fond of utilizing the silent treatment. This tactic is the most frequently reported form of abuse by our male clients. Let me assure you, these women can maintain the silent treatment for incredibly extended periods. Nothing conveys the message that you are being punished or that you are insignificant as effectively as refusing to speak to you or even acknowledge your existence. The level of cruelty involved in the silent treatment is staggering. It's hard to imagine anything as cruel as refusing to speak to someone, ignoring someone, or rejecting someone's existence. This is one of the most brutal forms of narcissistic abuse. Even in the movie, Gaslight, the protagonist pleads with her husband when he gives her the silent treatment, begging him to do anything, hit me, scream at me, anything but this. The silent treatment can vary from one narcissist to another. She might stop talking to you for days, weeks, or even months. She may not even acknowledge your presence when you are in the same room. She might disappear without answering or returning your calls or texts. One of our clients had his wife communicate with him through their pet dogs. Another client described what she experienced as the coldest shoulder you could ever imagine. However, one thing is certain, the silent treatment is one of the favored abuse tactics of the female narcissist. Number two on our list, the female narcissist is well known for using the strategy of withholding love, affection, or intimacy to align you with her desires. Remember, the ultimate goal here is power and control. If you are in a relationship with someone you care deeply about, and who you believe loves you back, 
having her withhold love and affection can be incredibly damaging to your emotional well-being. Female narcissistic mothers frequently employ this tactic on their own children, and it's worth noting that she can maintain this cold demeanor for longer durations than one might expect. One characteristic of the female narcissist that stands out is her unwavering commitment to an abusive tactic once she decides to employ it. I have had clients share with me that their wives have withheld love and affection for months on end. This form of abuse is not only incredibly cruel, but it also serves as a potent tool for conveying to the victim that they are undeserving of love and affection. Should they desire it, they must yield to her demands, otherwise, they will be left wanting. Our third point, the female narcissist is infamous for using guilt trips to align you with her wants. The power of guilt to keep you indebted or loyal to a narcissistic woman should not be underestimated. It's a highly potent manipulation and abuse tactic that she has no qualms about exploiting. I have several clients who remain in relationships with female narcissists out of obligation or pity, even though they wish to leave. The narcissist convinces them that they owe her, or that she cannot survive without them. If you are a highly empathetic person, as most targets of narcissists are, rest assured, the narcissist will manipulate and exploit these traits of yours indefinitely if you allow it. Guilt is not love, and normal, healthy individuals would not want to be in a relationship based solely on obligation and guilt. While guilt is a powerful manipulation and abuse tactic, its deceptive and manipulative nature often goes unnoticed since it engenders pity rather than outright cruelty. Our fourth point, the female narcissist excels at shaming, humiliating, or emasculating a victim to initiate a long cycle of devaluation. This might take the form of a seemingly harmless joke, allowing her to dismiss your offense as an overreaction. It could also be disguised as feigned concern, a passive-aggressive insult, or a demeaning comparison to an ex-partner. All narcissists derive a perverse pleasure from their ability to humiliate or emasculate a victim. There is a sadistic element to this personality disorder that finds joy in causing others genuine suffering and pain, and nothing accomplishes this quite as effectively as shame and humiliation. Finally, number five, the female narcissist relishes the use of gaslighting and projection as tools to abuse and manipulate their victims. It is well known that all narcissists employ these tactics, and female narcissists are no exception. She will project her own guilt onto the victim, accusing them of the very thing she is guilty of. For instance, she may label you a narcissist or accuse you of infidelity when she is the one who has been unfaithful. To compound this, she will resort to classic gaslighting, insisting that your recollection of events is incorrect, that things didn't happen the way you remember, or even that they didn't happen at all. One of our clients, who discovered his wife of over 40 years was cheating, received a letter from her suggesting he was confusing her with a girlfriend from his youth. After more than 40 years of marriage, she attempted to gaslight him into believing he was confusing her with someone from over four decades ago. Always remember, as narcissists age, their behaviors worsen. The lies become more outrageous and extreme, the gaslighting and projection intensify, and this holds true for the female narcissist as well. That concludes our discussion for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching, everyone.